Hi, I'm Sebastian. And I'm Roger. And we're here in the Xena CH650. Normally we're in the air doing these updates, but this time we thought we'd do it in the shop. The weather, we're actually, now it's kind of fall weather, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's, uh, we had a big change last night. For Missouri, it's still good flying weather. And I uh, certainly invite folks to come out to the factory um, and I'll, I'll uh, get a little bit of a chance. We'll show you a little bit of our, our new showroom that we're working on here update you on a few projects that we're working on and uh, let you guys know that uh, come out come out visit us uh, at the factory here in uh, Mexico Missouri during these winter months uh, especially if you're in an area where you want to get away from the snow and, and so forth uh, come out here and uh, spend a day or two at the factory yeah you know at Zenith we're always working on a lot of new stuff behind the scenes you know we don't come out with a lot of new designs you know we're blessed Chris Chris really left us with a real legacy of great mm -hmm. designs but uh, that said, we're always working behind the scenes on making uh, these, these airplanes better, uh, easier to build, better kits. And uh, the 650s is our latest uh, big project, so to speak. And we've been working on that for a number of years. And where we're really taking the kit and, uh, and updating it to the final hole size mash drill technology. Uh, we've been working on the, we were doing just a little rudder video earlier today. Uh, on the on the rudder assembly because that's kind of the last one of all the, the Zenith models to really catch up to the final hole size match drilled and uh, where the rudder kit uh, how, how long do you say it takes to put together well I mean it, yes I can put build a rudder in a couple hours very easy but if for a right. customer to get the whole concept of building the rudder understanding the parts the drawings riveting you know you're looking about six to eight hours six to eight hours so an easy day uh, project though yes. I remember you know I used to be a full two-day project and uh, now it's definitely a little bit easier uh, to do that and and we've been kind of waiting off on doing the rudder that way because we want the rest of the kit to have caught up the same way exactly it? And, uh, and and I'll show a little bit more about the about the CH650 uh, kit that we're working on. And uh, you know the the, the low wing uh, CH650 is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. It was in 1984, uh, 40 years ago, that Chris came out with the CH600, and that design has really evolved over the years, in large part with the light sport category of, of late for the last uh, what nearly 20 years now. And so it's a, it's a real neat design. Um, you know, most of the interest it seems in the industry has been in high wings lately, but uh, we forget how fun these uh, low wing airplanes are to fly sometimes, don't we? Oh, exactly. Uh, yeah, the 650 is just a joy to fly. Uh, it still takes off very short, lands yeah. very short for the grass runways that customers would like. Yeah. Uh, and then you still have a, just a normal 60 to 75 percent cruise speed you can still be doing 130 miles an hour if you want to push it a little bit yeah. you could probably be over 140. yeah yeah and it's it's and, and those metrics especially 140 you don't, you don't need 180 or 160 horsepower right you need a, a relatively low power engine 120 130 you know the jabiru 3300 ul power engine even small like homing uh like an o235 engine will get you really good uh good performance on on these airplanes and you know we think you need you know that the higher performance airplanes are more efficient but they really aren't you look at the fuel burn and, and how fast they're going yeah they're going a little bit faster but uh, marginally so and I think importantly you touched on a good point uh, you know these are are very capable um, you know grass field airplanes as well uh, you know compared to the to the stole uh, especially the 701 and 750s yeah they take longer to take off but uh, a few hundred feet uh, versus just less than 100 feet you know but uh, in the real world those are that's real short either way you look at it exactly so um, you know we were where were we uh, we've been doing quite a bit of traveling lately we were in Oshkosh uh, a couple of weeks ago now it is um, and I, I was uh, I was inducted into the EA Home Builders Hall of Fame and that was a real honor because uh, exactly 25 years ago uh, my dad Chris Hines was also inducted so that was neat to see and it was awesome that my brothers were able to join me my son was able to join me you were able to join me and it was just a just a neat uh and quite a quite an honor quite frankly uh and, and big shoes to fill uh and, and being inducted in that now while we were at oshkosh too it was kind of fun because we were able to see the 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 trophy that that uh well you were awarded earlier this year the spirit of flight award and we were able yes. to see the trophy there that was kind of cool to see and then it was it was a lot of fun because uh, Charlie Becker uh, uh, from EAA uh, kind of did an impromptu presentation of the world's fastest Klikoer. As of 2024, Roger Dubert is the world champion Klikoer. 
Well deserved. All right. right. And uh, that's quite an honor for you as well, because I know a lot of builders, they, they pride themselves on being fast with Clecos, but you've been doing it a long time, I guess, also, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I'll cha challenge all of my builders <laughs> yeah. out there to to try to uh, beat the, the world record uh, Coleco. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it uh, takes a lot of years of experience to and do that. And that's the thing is, uh, it, it sounds, it, it is simple. It's a very simple task, but it's a, it, sometimes those are the most challenging to do it very efficiently. And uh, when I look at the time that you did, it's like, wow. <laughs> It's not an easy, it's only, it's only, you know, putting 10 Clecos in and taking 10 Clecos out. So real simple task, especially for, for you builders that have done thousands and thousands of Clecos uh, in and out. But uh, you do it 10 times, uh, and, and what was your time? It was like... Uh, like 24 points something, 24, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but yeah, and, and, and you know, you're real open about it. It's challenging other folks to do that. Oh, and yeah, uh, yeah. best way to do that, of course, is to build an airplane. You build, <laughs> you build your own airplane, you're gonna, you're gonna learn uh, about doing that. So, but that was a, that was a neat trip uh, up to Oshkosh uh, in the off season in October. But, uh, so that was an honor and, and, and just, a, just a fun opportunity to do that. Uh, we continue to do our monthly workshops at the factory. This year, we, we decided not to go back to Florida in December to do a workshop. So we'll have a workshop here at the factory instead. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons, you know, we have, a, we have a nicer showroom now to do workshops. So this is a nicer area to host, uh, host workshops. We've kind of cleaned up the factory in the, in the showroom side, and I'll, I'll show some more video about that but um, where we have more space to do the actual workshop assemblies and then more space for the de demo airplane. So that uh, those of you that are building and it doesn't matter which rudder you're building from the 650, Cruiser, Stoll 750, Super Duty, 701 rudders, um, we'll have all these airplanes right here inside the, inside the shop so you can really have a good look at them. So we, we look forward to doing that. We have one workshop in uh, I think early November. Well, Actually coming, it's next week. Yeah, coming up next week. Yeah. And then uh, we'll also have one in early December as well, uh, before, right after the, well, somewhat after the Thanksgiving holiday and well before the Christmas holidays. So look forward to doing that. And, uh, and, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, come out to the factory, uh, come out flying with Roger. Roger loves to go flying and uh, loves to show these airplanes, uh, come in the factory, look at how we do things. And, uh, you know, talking about the factory, you know, uh, especially with our expanded space, our kit production is going really, really well. And, uh, you know, now that we're really post-COVID and everything else, our production is back to normal. Uh, you're not having to wait six months or a year or, or two years or, or whatever crazy amount of lead time. Now we're, we're back into normal lead times, two months and, and so forth. So you can order a kit. We can get you parts nearly right away, uh, like a tail kit, things like that in larger sections uh, uh, also in, in you know, 8, 10, 12 weeks. So uh, those of you that want to get uh, the winter project started uh, even before the, end of the, before the end of the year, you certainly can. Give us a call and we'll be happy to, uh, to help you with that. So this is our new, well, we're calling it showroom area, but it's really our, it's a hangar spot for all of our airplanes. And uh, as you can see, we've got a nice new floor in here. And that kind of really uh, distinguishes it from the factory part of the, part of the, of the factory, if you will. And uh, gives us a bit more space for our demo airplane. So Roger, you want to quickly walk us around here and tell us what we've got uh, here inside the factory? Sure, yeah. Come on guys, we'll, I'll show you what the, our showroom looks like. So yeah, so as Sebastian was mentioning, uh, we have a new painted floor to kind of showcase our, our different demo aircraft that we have on display. Uh, this is our 650 uh, low wing that we were just in. And that's got the UL Power 350i. We've been flying it around as a demo airplane for the last uh, probably 15 years. Yeah, it's a real good looking airplane, isn't it? It is. And then uh, right in front of the 650, we have the 750 Cruiser. We have the UL Power 350i also. The two place, high wing, short takeoff and land still, and then uh, the cruise speed's about 120 miles an hour. Then in our uh, south bay, we have our 750 Super Duty. Which is a three place or jump, a three place or a jump seat in the back with 200 pounds in the back. 
And it comes standard with uh, the larger balloon tires. We have the Aerosport 205 horse engine. You definitely can uh, get by with 180 horse. We also, behind the 750 Super Duty, we have the 750 Skull. We have the Jabber 3300, which is a six cylinder 120 horse. We've had it in there for you know the last probably 10 years. And uh, we, we really like the Jabber. Over here, we've got the 750 Max Toll kit that we've been working on. And we are actually starting to ship the complete 701 Max Toll kits. Uh, if you look at it right here, the fuselage, uh, from the parts on the shelf to look like that, you're looking about uh, about an hour, you can have it looking like something, but there's still a lot of work ahead of the builder too. It's just, it, it would really look like something very quick. Yeah, the fun whole size match drill technology has really come a long way. It's right. pretty amazing. And while we're in this area here, you can't really see it, but back here we've got all our workshop benches. With the workshops, instead of using the large tables, we, we've made these smaller tables, actually have them on wheels on one end of them. They're easy to move and configure in here in the factory so that uh, we really have good space uh, to be able to do the workshops right exactly. here inside the factory. And just like we have this uh, 701 fuselage kit in here, uh, we look forward to being able to do uh, quick build kits and, uh, and, and assemblies, maybe more than the rudder, maybe doing workshops for for larger sections of the airplane, looking forward to that. Then we have a quick build over here in the north side, quick build on wheels, uh, the 750 Skull. And if you notice our new puck system on the firewall, uh, new controls and the new additions, and this has a center stick. Yeah, these quick builds, we like them in, in the shop here because it gives us an opportunity to, to try out our new equipment, make sure everything fits, the instructions work really well, and so forth. And here we even have a customer's project. This is Jason's uh, Stoll CH750, just a beautiful airplane. We look forward to, uh, he'll be bringing in the wings shortly to, to continue work on this uh, beautiful airplane. Yeah, and this is a 750 Stoll, and uh, if you notice, he has the Super Duty landing gear and wheels on there he wanted more of a uh, off-road stole capability yeah 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 it looks great too i think and uh he's got the jabberu 3300 engine in it the new gen 4 engine isn't it exactly right. well, let's have a quick look inside the factory here and uh i'll uh provide a link to the uh factory tour with uh travis kobush our production manager did a really nice uh factory tour video uh updating with the expansion so uh i won't try to duplicate that but uh on the back end of the factory where we have a bit more space this is uh where we where we do the kits up here this is going to be a full kit going in here super duty kit getting ready to be shipped but um, over here we this is where we're working on the ch650 uh fuselage with the final hole size match drill um these are some of the quick build kit assemblies that we've been kind of working on and uh, here these parts here we're just just experimenting verifying uh, with the final hole size mesh drill technology and it's interesting to see here you'll see no drill around here because we're we're not drilling a single hole doing this are we you're right it's coming right out directly off the cnc and click on the parts together so it really is a, a big departure in the way that we used to do things and uh in the sense that uh, the drill becomes sort of, we, we still require drill to finish uh, the rest of the airplane but uh, getting rid of it now some of the new features you'll see on here on the bottom of the fuselage we use the same rounded extruded pieces that we use on the stole airplanes and that's a nice new touch uh, on the ch650 airplanes that uh, the 601 xl or earlier 650s didn't have and a number of little improvements like that we'll be showcasing those uh over the next few months as well with all of you yeah so we should have uh, the quick build fusel or the matched hole fuselage for the 650 done very shortly right and uh, even those of you that don't want to wait for the full kit to be done uh you get the horizontal tail kits and, and sections like that are pretty much uh, final hole size match drilled aren't they they are yes yeah. well uh this is again we need to get back to work but uh, it's been a great opportunity to, to catch you guys up on what we've been doing and uh, we'll look forward to uh, talking with you uh, a little bit later. All right, see you guys.